What makes Lake Turkana Wind Power unique, it's the biggest wind farm in Africa. And when the power goes countrywide, factories are coming up because of this electricity. Lake Turkana Wind Power is situated in a remote area in northern Kenya. FinFund, a development financier and impact investor, invested in the project since construction began in 2014, while Finnish company Pico provided the wind turbine foundation, its design and structural calculations. It's now a considerable contributor to Kenya's power grid, with clean and affordable energy meeting up to around 14% of Kenya's current electricity demand. In 2024, FinFund had a planned exit, opening for private capital to drive the project forward. When we were coming over to Kenya for the due diligence trip, we stopped on one of the high points where wind turbines were coming. When opening the door, it almost just detached itself from the car because it was so windy. It has been said to be one of the top three of the best constructable wind regimes in the whole world. The largest impacts uh, uh, are those that come through the provision of power. Before the project came online, there were blackouts in Kenya because there was just not enough power supply for the demand. It helped uh, thousands and thousands of uh, small enterprises be more productive, uh, people to have higher earnings. When we came there, there was one community within the boundaries of the project. There was no water, there was no power. Lake Chicana Wind Power uh, established an NGO called Winds of Change in 2015, implementing projects that improve access to water, access to education and to health facilities. You know, every day we are implementing projects which we know are improving people's lives and their livelihoods. There is no other private sector that has created job opportunities around the community. So that is a really, really big transformation. By us being present, uh, we employed a lot of people during construction, close to 2,000, of whom the vast majority came from the local area. Today we employ about 320. We rehabilitated a road, 210 kilometers. That road has increased access to that area. It has also contributed to decreasing the security risks. The DFIs are actually able to enter into a project where normal commercial funding would not otherwise be available. Many African governments and power companies, they welcome private sector investors to come in and make the investment on their behalf into renewable energy projects. And then the off-taker, the, the local power company, only needs to pay for the power they are, they are acquiring and not to make the huge capital investment into the actual power generation. And the biggest contribution of FinFund, the fact that they were in early on and they stuck to the project until it was actually built and actually after that as well, of course. We saw it as a project that shows the way for further investments in renewable energy. We have been able to prove that this whole concept technically, commercially, environmentally, socially, impact-wise, it works very well. And now there is appetite uh, from the commercial lenders to, to provide an exit for us. It's very important that there are those investors who would be then willing to come in with much more private funding to continue when the operation is so much more easier. As a person who was born four hours from where we are right now, I'm very proud to see a project of this scale, um, a project that has this impact in this local area. What we have demonstrated is that a very complicated, challenging project can be done in the handshake between the local communities, the, the people of Kenya and ourselves. <laughs>